most central and busiest today. We're out in the Marcellus Borg Forest here, slightly quieter, but still good connections to uh, Europe with the main road, uh, only five minutes or so away. So a beautiful spot, really lovely location, gorgeous part of the world. Very nice to live in, I'd imagine. There's so much happening, a massive student population here as well. So this is what we've brought you so far. Four wins for Japan. Who'd have thought that coming into today? I expected a much more competitive affair. Each of the matches have been, but it's just not gone the way of Malaysia at all. So it's down to the third men's singles then between Japan and Malaysia. Kenta Nishimoto takes on Leong Ju Hao of Malaysia. World number 16 against the world number 120. Japanese, 25 years of age, the Malaysian, 22 years of age. Jason Anthony Hoshue of Canada on Sunday here in 42 minutes. Now in his second Orhus showing this week. 25 years of age, world number 16. Lost in the second round of the All England this year to Rasmus Gemken, a rampant Dane who we lost to also in the semi-finals of the Denmark Open as well the year before. Leong Junhao, world number 120. That's been 66 in the world. Well, that was back in uh, on the 12th of April, 2018. Long, long ago now, four years or so ago. Five foot seven from Setapak, he is. First meeting between the two players. Speaks five languages. Does uh, Junhao, Bahasa, Malaysia, Cantonese, Mandarin, Hokkien. As does Kisona, Salvajere in the women's team. Some real talented, bright youngsters. To be multilingual in five languages is just defies belief to me, frankly. Incredible. He was the boys singles champion at the 2017 Asia Junior Championships, this man. Seven years of age in Simoto. Has been as high as nine in the world. And his opponent, 120, has been uh, inside the top 70, which we mentioned. Silver medalist at the World Junior Champs, well as Leon. And uh, in November 2017, he reached his first maiden senior final at the Malaysia International Challenge before losing to uh, his compatriot Iskandar Zulkanin Zenudin. Jakob Sinberg of Denmark, familiar face, and Jurgen John. Keeping order out here in this last match of session one. He won his first title, this man, at the Finnish Open back in April 2018 when he reached his career high rank of 66 in the world. He defeated his compatriot, Chim Junwei, in the final. The man that we saw on here, third match, going down to Sunoyama. 
And this is his first appearance here in Aarhus in this tournament, anyhow. Liam Junhao. Just about to get underway then this last men's single. So early stages then of this fifth and final match in the tie. Japan 4-0 to the good. Will Nishiputo Moto add to Malaysian pain? And secure the last singles. Doesn't look like it at this stage. I think he's found the line, you know. I think this is an unsuccessful challenge. Foolish from Paul Hand, putting his neck on the line. But there we are. <laughs> Let's have a look. The suspense of the heartbeat. Yeah. Phew. He found it. Young Jun Hao. He's blessed with the magical touch early in this match. He's painting the lines, kissing the gloss. It's just magical, isn't it? Really nice touch. Well, I guess all the weight of expectation is off of his shoulders. He must be thinking, well, if my compatriots, none of them can win. Ah, this, you know, I can just uh, play liberal, free, wheeling badminton out here. Nothing to lose. I was reading last night on the BWF website that, you know, Hans Christian Vitingus as the third men's singles player coming in and having prepared his mind for really stern tests that lie in wait and visualising time and again himself coming through those kind of moments. Found that fascinating how he was so ready, the 35-year-old veteran Dane, to come out and work so hard for his team to get the result. A situation that he'd mentally rehearsed a lot.
a uh, good patient play from both. Longest rally of the match so far. Both really setting out their stall nicely. Statement of intent there from the Japanese Nishimoto. A third successive point for him. from the Japanese here. Having lost the opening six points, he's fighting back. Searing pace on that straight smash from Lyon. Straight drop from Nishimoto. very hard to get back to parity here Nishimoto after what was a tepid start from him and a quite brilliant start from Lyon. Really solid play from Leon Junhao. And the former world number 66 is bringing it. He's making this a very competitive opening game. Oh, 
Oh, yes. Nice. Whipped away dismissively from Nishimoto. Good pace from Lyon, who leads the way with three points free. As he heads to the mid-game interval, it's the Malaysian with that slender lead after ten minutes. Deception, just hold and flick. Lovely. He's missed it, but he wants an immediate look at it. So we're going to go upstairs for a challenge here. Leon, Leon Jun Hao. He thinks he's found the line. My instant reaction was that it was just long. Like the lines judge. Let's take a look. It was all in a frenzied attack. And he's found the line with it. Yeah, really well done. Beautiful, finding the back line just prior to pulling the trigger on that big smash, the Malaysian. Really well played point again. He's got plenty of ways to hurt, that's for sure.
see the Japanese women in the house supporting. Good work. They've probably been on the practice court. little break off the net but he's playing some really good badminton there's Leon Junhart it back. Three points in a row for Kenta Nishimoto, showing his class. Oh. String's gone. Little break off the net going his way this time. Shimoto taking his time to unsheath a new racket. Wow, what's he doing back there? Having a shower? <laughs> okay, we're ready to re engage. Japanese points then consecutively to bring parity to this opening game. Does the younger man believe he can really do this and take a game from the former top tenor? He's only got enough game to hurt him. But has he got the mental skills? And that will be revealed in the biggest of moments normally. Where this man will probably, well, we know he will shine because he's just pretty robust against this kind of level of player. Well done, closing it down so quickly. Especially having to retreat a couple of times right back towards the back line. Look at that. Terrific athleticism. Chewing up plenty of ground in those explosive steps.
Yeah. Slightly short lift, net lift. And he got the treatment. He is rampant right now. Eight points in a row for Kenta Nishimoto. Former world number nine, looking very, very good. And when you consider he was 15-10 down just moments ago, it's been brilliant. He's missed that though, a little too greedy with that one. Still, what a flurry that was. around in his kit bag. But he's got a two-point cushion here for all of his industry. defense from Nishimoto so tough to bridge Competitive opening game. And there's no telling which way it might fall. Nice hit long. Break off the net, a lovely little tumbler, that one. Hit to perfection, look at this. Yeah, perfectly weighted. So, game point for Lyon. Oh yes, it does enough to find a way through the opening game, does Lyon Junhao. And takes it to 19. I hope you're delighted with that. 
having been right down at the back end. He stole that one after 25 minutes. It's a really good turnaround from Leon Jun Hao. So, players back on court, ready to resume. Game two, here we go. Malaysia took the opener. Jun Hao doing really well to take that opening game. Can he hold on and see this off in straights? Very explosive when he wants to be. With a lovely poise and balance. He's a terrific athlete, the 22 year old from Malaysia, as of course is Nishimoto. Much more familiar face on our screens. But he's got a sort of relaxed nonchalance about him, this lad, hasn't he? Just really super chill. How much does he believe? Yeah, he's getting burnt a few times in that deep backhand corner, the Malaysian. Shimoto so quick to follow up, look at this.
on the Shimoto will not want to be the only Japanese loser today. He will be digging very deep. Otherwise, he'll be getting a lot of stick off of his mates, you'd imagine. Especially with the disparity in ranking between these two. Over 100 spots. Mixing up his attack lines really well. Four, six. Get away from Leon Kenny Nishimoto as hard as he tries. He's got an ever menacing presence, this young 22 year old Leon Jun Hao. Every now and then, you just get an unforced error like that, and that'll really encourage the Japanese. greedy Nishimoto there. Super point. Really, really well played.
got a lot of very high clears and liftaways there. Japanese sustaining his patience throughout. Bit of hesitancy there from Leon. Longest rally of the match, 40 shots. touch from Nishimoto there, breaks to the front, three-point cushion at the mid-game interval, nice on the neck, cooling down. suddenly can just ignite and rob points from you when you think you're secure far from it very dangerous but you do gradually sense the dependability of Nishimoto still might be enough but there he goes again clipping that down making it look very very easy of Nishimoto as he hit it right into the strike zone of the Malaysian. Got it. Well, 40 minutes have unfolded. And Nishimoto again, as he was in the opening game, to be fair, looking to secure game two. Wow. 
around it again. It's just, it's just so good at that, isn't he? Very high skill level from the hands and a terrific athlete as well. And the ranking of 120 in the world really doesn't do him justice. Yes, he's been up to 66 in the world on the 12th of April 2018, but you, know, you almost feel that really given what we've seen, he should be far higher. But of course, it's all about performance consistency. And that's what guys like Nishimoto bring on a fairly regular basis as a top 16 player. You sense that if Lyon can hold at the ceiling of his abilities, he might be able to cross the line here. But he's got to eradicate some of these uh, roll the dice errors. Four well, moments ago, he was 12-8 adrift. Now the Malaysian's back on terms. Another mark of his talent. from Nishimoto. stone obediently and his camp really enjoyed that as much as he would have oh yes Like we're down the docks, doesn't it? With all the horns going off. Oh, what a save from Kenta Nishimoto there, and that could prove one of those really big moments of pivot in the second game. the lead here. losing that point, Nishimoto.
three in a row for Yong Jun Hao. And he's really enjoying himself out here now with no expectation on his shoulders. He's freewheeling nicely. He's four points away from victory. Always miss that. Not by much. He tends to play that way though. He tends to play a couple of not so good points and then suddenly really focuses down. But we just don't quite know what to expect at this stage. 18 all, deadlock in game two. An injection of pace from Young Jun Hao. And he's two points away from victory now. Wonderful acceleration through that cross smash. And after 50 minutes, Lu Jun Hao has a couple of match points. Superb match from Leung Jun Hao. The Malaysian salvages some pride for his team and downs the world number 16, Kenta Nishimoto. That is some win for the world number 120. 21-19, 21-18, Leung Jun Hao comes through. 50 minutes that is a really big scalp quite a surprise so Japan secure the overall tie then 4-1 and they top group D but Malaysia with a little flurry that'll feel very very welcome at the back end of the tie and this young man is to thank for that Really good work from him and downing the world number 16 in straight games. That's quite a coup. He's all smiles under that mask. Serving his country very well there. That's a terrific scalp. And this is how he did it. Very streaky kind of player. And it was an excellent finish to a high quality affair. Former top tenner.
World number nine in Nishimoto going down in straights. So Japan, the second seeds and runners up of 2018, win the group. But like Malaysia, they both go through to the quarterfinal knockout draw. And we'll be seeing more from the young man in the red shirt. He's delighted with himself there. So hopefully we can show you the results of the day. There we are, Momota with a win. And as did Hoki and Kobayashi. Suniyama as well in straight games. And uh, Koga and Watanabe teaming up for just the second time. That was a really strong showing, wasn't it, in that second men's doubles. And then Kenta Nishimoto unable to bring it home with the bagel. But they still won 4-1, convincing winners, Japan. So the top group D. That's how the land lies. We'll be bringing you plenty more action imminently for session two. And there we are. So Japan do seal victory with a couple of wins. Malaysia with just the one win over Canada. So those two top two teams go through. Canada go home. And uh, that's how the land lies in Group D for this Thomas Cup event. There'll be plenty more action coming up. It's going to be a Uber Cup quarterfinals between Japan and India. And uh, you'll be in the company of Trevor Harris for that one from myself, Paul Hand. I wish you well. Uh, bye for now.